G'day guys, it's Paul from Polar Man Astro and welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. This is a series where I take a process or a script and try and explain that in under 5 minutes. But I'm going to add to it now and say that sometimes I will try and solve a real world problem that I'm having or someone else is having in 5 minutes or less. Today I want to look at star removal. In particular, when you do star removal, you end up with a starless image and a star mask. And that star mask, if you look at it carefully, yes, it extracts the stars, and often fantastically, but if you look around the stars, you'll often see that there is some residual noise. And today we're going to look at how to remove that. I do need to give a shout out to uh, Ancient Photons Photography uh, and their YouTube channel, because that's where I discovered this fantastic technique. So I'll leave a link in the description to their YouTube channel so you can check them out. But let's dive in. Okay, so here we are inside PixInsight, and here's the final image uh, that I produced, the Swan Nebula um, in HOO using the 4X palette, um, and I've got a link up, up above me to the video where I show how I use the 4X palette, but the whole point of today's video is to look at the stars. Um, and here, when I, when I did my Starnet extraction on my HA image and my O3 image to do some work on it, in particular in the HA image here, I've zoomed in a little bit, and you can see that it's extracted the stars, but there's quite a lot of noise that it pulls out as well. And it's most obvious around this bright star and some of the brighter stars here, you might be able to see some noise as well. Um, maybe it won't come across on YouTube, but there is most definitely, if you look on your star images, there's most definitely noise around the brighter stars. Uh, and we can deal with that nice and easily. And again, ancient photons was where I saw this process. Um, so do check out their channel. Uh, and what, what you do is you go to use TGV do noise. Um, and on his channel, he found that uh, a strength of 3.1 and an edge protection of about 3.1 um, works kind of well. And these are pretty well the default settings, just uh, adjusted slightly. And you need to play around with it for your data because um, I have a feeling he has a similar kind of refractor to me. So um, it makes sense that these, these settings might be quite similar. Um, but you need to play around with it. And what happens is if I drag this and drop it, then it really smooths out that noise. But what you'll notice is it, it doesn't actually soften my stars, which is important too. Um, so let's find that really bright star. There it is. And we'll do a before and after on that one. And you can see oops, that it really softens that noise. Uh, and you can do the same thing to the O3 image as well. And then when you put your stars back, you won't have all that noise around the stars um, which at this scale is probably all right, but if you zoom in, you, you might see that noise if you haven't smoothed it out a bit. So that was today's video, really, just, just looking at this really cool method for dealing with the noise in the stars when you extract them using Starnet. Thanks for watching.